Hi everyone, my name is Anuj Jindal and today we are going to discuss part 2 of May 1st 2018 daily quiz. This quiz is going to be important for RBI phase 1 that is going to happen very soon. Nabard phase 1 that is scheduled on 19th May. SBI notification has already uh, been released and SSC notification has already come out. So all these examinations have one thing in common that is daily quiz. Uh, which is very factual in nature and which requires you to have a very brief understanding of different things. So without wasting any time, let's come to the first question. The first question is, what is the full form of PADA, an organization initiated by International Olympics Committee to promote, monitor and coordinate fight against drugs in sports? The full form of WADA is not a word anti-drug agency as you might feel or if you don't know, you might be enticed to go for that answer. But, but the answer is word anti-doping agency because these drugs are meant at, uh, for the uh, athletes to dope in these, uh, uh, in, the, in these competitions and therefore it's called word anti-doping agency. India has been ranked recently at number 6 along with Russia for doping violations. That is a very high number because Russia uh, has been uh, very famous for uh, having a lot of doping violations and India is also standing at the same rank. That means Indian athletes are also going for a lot of violations. The next question is what will be the 15th, where will be the 15th Pravasi Bhatiya Divas held? 15th Pravasi Bhatiya Divas is to be held in the year 2019 in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, there are two, three important things here. Number one, what is Pravasi, Pravasi Bhatiya Divas? It is uh, a celebration of Indian diaspora in building a new India. So the members of Indian diaspora, people who are working, who are living outside India, but who want to contribute towards India, come for this divas, come for this celebration and celebrate it together. There's a lot of donation, a lot of contribution by these members, which happens uh, in this diaspora. Uh, divas, which happens, takes place every year. It is to be celebrated on Jan 9th every year. Why Jan 9th? Because that was the day when Gandhi returned, Mahatma Gandhi returned to India in 1915 and therefore it's considered to be the biggest day when one of the uh, most important dignitaries of India, freedom fighters of India came back to India from South Africa. Uh, next year it is going to be celebrated from 21st to 23rd January 2019 in Varanasi. Let's come to the next question. Harimau Shakti is a bilateral joint military exercise between which of the following two countries? Harimau Shakti is between India and Malaysia. The answer is D. There are some other military exercises which I am going to uh, mention here. Number one, Harimau Shakti is a jungle warfare, is a exercise of jungle warfare which is being held in Malaysia. Okay. Some other exercises, exercise Varuna between India and French uh, defense forces, Samvedana which includes India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal and UAE. Please write these down. Lamete, which is between India and Seychelles, Winbacks between India and Vietnam, Vajra Pahar, Vajra Pahar between India and US, then you have Ecuverin between India and Maldives, uh, then you have Ajaya, Ajaya is another one which is between India and UK, uh, what important is Imbacks between India and Myanmar because Myanmar and India are in news, so this can be asked, then you have Sampriti. Sampriti hai ek exercise which is between India and Bangladesh. India or Bangladesh ki beech mein hai exercise uh, which is held every year. Then one important one is Indra between India and Russia. And then you have Malabar. Malabar is a trilateral exercise that means it includes three countries India, Japan and US. So it's important for you to remember all these exercises. Aisi aur bhi exercises hai. So you can go online and search for these exercises. I have told you exercises ke naam bata diye, important ones only. Let's come to the next question. From 2019, February 14 will be observed as Matru Pitra. That is, Matru is uh, mother or parents and Pitra is child. Parents child Pujan Devas in schools, which of the following state government has passed the order? The answer for this is A. Rajasthan. Rajasthan has recently passed the order. But this is an old issue. It was started by Asaram Babu, who is in jail right now, in 2007 in Ahmedabad. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine how the saddest or how idea is that you sorry, February 14, which Valentine's Day, you have to finish it in this way. You have to finish it in this way. 
तो 2007 में अहमदाबाद में आसाराम बापू ने स्टार्ट किया था छत्तीसगढ़ जो कि एक बीजेपी की स्टेट है उसने ऑफिशियली इसको 2015 में अनाउंस किया और अपने स्कूल्स में सेलिब्रेट करना शुरू किया और राजस्थान इज दी थर्ड स्टेट नाउ विच इज़ ऑल्सो ऑफिशियली रिकग्नाइज स्टेट और बहुत सारी स्टेट्स हैं जिन्होंने इसको रिकग्नाइज किया है झारखंड ने भी इसको बोला है उत्तर तो प्रदेश में भी ये सेलिब्रेट होता है बट ऑफिशियली अभी राजस्थान ने लॉन्च किया है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच आर द फॉलोइंग एप हैज़ बीन लॉन्च बाय मक्कल निधि मयम पॉलिटिकल पार्टी ये पॉलिटिकल पार्टी है तमिलनाडु की लेड बाय कमल हसन इसने एक इस पार्टी ने अभी एक ऐप लॉन्च किया है रिसेंटली जिसका नाम है मयम विसल ऐप इसका ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या है टू फ्लैग सिविक एंड सोशो पोलिटिकल इशूज मतलब जो भी आपके सोशो पोलिटिकल सिविक इशूज़ हैं वो आप इस ऐप पे जाके विसल करिए मतलब इस ऐप पे जाके उनको लिखिए बताइए तो इस पॉलिटिकल पार्टी को वो इश्यूज पता लगेंगे और वो उस पर काम करेंगे दैट इज़ द ऑब्जेक्टिव लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नासा इज गोइंग टू लॉन्च इट्स फर्स्ट एवर मिशन टू स्टडी द डीप इंटीरियर ऑफ मार्स व्हाट इज़ द नेम ऑफ द मिशन नेम ऑफ द मिशन इज इनसाइट दैट इज सी इनसाइट की फुल फॉर्म याद रखना बहुत जरूरी है इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द फुल फॉर्म इज इंटीरियर एक्सप्लोरेशन यूजिंग सीस्मिक इंटीरियर एक्सप्लोरेशन यूजिंग सीस्मिक इन्वेस्टिगेशंस इन्वेस्टिगेशंस जियो डेसी एंड हीट ट्रांसपोर्ट जियो डेसी एंड हीट ट्रांसपोर्ट इसको याद रखना बहुत जरूरी है एग्जाम में ये पूछने के चांसेस बहुत हाई हैं ऑन फिफ्थ मे ऑन फिफ्थ मे ट्वेंटी एटीन इट हैज़ बीन लॉन्च इन द यू एस इट विल रीच मास एक्सपेक्टेड टू रीच मास ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स नवम्बर ट्वेंटी एटीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स नवम्बर ट्वेंटी एटीन को ये पहुँच जाएगा मास पर इसका जो रॉकेट है उसका नाम क्या है यूनाइटेड लॉन्च अलायंस यू एल एटलस फाइव एटलस फाइव रॉकेट पर यू एल एटलस फाइव रॉकेट पे ये लॉन्च किया गया है इनसाइड मिशन एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू स्टडी द डीप इंटीरियर ऑफ मास इट इज अ रोबोट बेस्ड मास तो इसमें एक रोबोट है जो कि मास पर लैंड करेगा एंड देन इट विल कैरी आउट अ स्टडी ऑफ मास हु हैज़ बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू कोच ऑफ इंडियन हॉकी मैंस टीम The answer is D. Harinder Singh. Now, यहाँ पर there are lot of important and interesting issues that are happening happening in Indian hockey men's and women's team. तो दो लोग हैं Harinder Singh and George Marin, who is a Dutch. तो George Marin पहले men's team के coach थे और Harinder women's team के coach थे. They were performing well, but now there were some issues in the men's team who were who were uh, complaining against Harinder. तो अभी क्या किया गया है? जॉर्ड मेरिन को मेंस टीम का कोच बना दिया हरिंद्र को वेमेंस टीम का कोच बना दिया नाउ दिस इज़ अ न्यू ट्रेंड विच इज स्टार्टेड इन इंडियन हॉकी टीम जहाँ पर आप स्वैपिंग कर रहे हैं कोचेस की उनको हटाने के बाद अगर उनके अगेंस्ट कंप्लेन होती है तो उनको हटाते नहीं है बिकॉज दे आर पॉलिटिकली एंड वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड दे आर ऑल्सो गुड परफॉर्मर्स फॉर सम ऑफ द अदर रीजन तो उनको स्वैप कर देते हैं हरिंद्र को वेमेन का बना दिया मैन का बना दिया जॉर्ड मेरिन को वेमेन का बना दिया uh, Harinder Singh when he was appointed the coach of women's team he had said that he has never never even watched a uh, women's hockey match so that was the condition but uh, he has been performing well unhone acche se lead kiya hai acche se train kiya hai women's hockey team ko so they have won uh, some medals in the asian uh, championship that was held recently next question jo hai wo hai what is the theme of may day 2018 Uh, जो मे डे है दैट इज़ ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज लेबर डे एंड इट इज़ फॉर लेबर मूवमेंट इन द एंटायर वर्ल्ड इंटरनेशनल इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने ये लॉन्च uh, किया था और मे फर्स्ट इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज लेबर डे एंड द थीम दिस ईयर वॉज यूनाइटिंग वर्कर्स फॉर सोशल एंड इकनॉमिक एडवांसमेंट आप इसमें को ध्यान से पढ़ेंगे तो आपको समझ आएगा कि ए से डी जो भी सारे थीम्स हैं दे आर नॉट रिलेटेड विद लेबर they are related with entrepreneurship they are related with capital they are related with job but labor ka jo issue hai wo thoda alag hai and the last one fifth one clearly brings that out to answer fifth hai next question shahzar rizvi is associated with which sports shahzar rizvi has recently uh, won uh, uh, a silver medal in shooting world cup which was held in korea aur uh, ye shooting se डील करती हैं तो द आंसर इज डी शूटिंग शी इज़ ऑल्सो वर्ल्ड नंबर वन राइट नाउ वर्ल्ड नंबर वन है वो एज डिक्लेयर बाय इंटरनेशनल शूटिंग स्पोर्ट फेडरेशन सो दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर
the next question is lester james paris died recently he was a renowned what lester james paris was uh, a renowned filmmaker and he is often considered as father father of sinhala cinema father of sinhala cinema unko bola jata tha so question can also be framed like this is tarah se banaya ja sakta hai who was popularly called as or who is popularly called as father of sinhala cinema so the answer is james paris he is a, a, a sri lankan and he is a popular filmmaker so i hope you like this lecture if you like this lecture please uh, subscribe to my channel so that i am encouraged to produce more and more lectures like this you can also uh, take the test and you can also go through current affairs daily current affairs on my website itself uh, a lot of students have been asking me about uh, economic survey jo maine volume 1 ka banaya tha so students bol rahe hain ki aap volume 2 ka bhi banaiye the, the volume 1 survey was very very good uh, so i am trying to take out time to create survey for volume 2 also and uh, by today evening i will post all the 20 chapters of volume 1 and 2 of the survey on my website